All right, welcome back to the channel. Well, on today's video, we're gonna talk about the detailer's pressure washer setup. Not mine, well, I already did a video on mine. I'll put a link up here if you wanna check that out. It goes into semi-detail of what I did and how mine works. But now I have a friend and a client that wanted to do a similar setup. So today we're gonna to be laying out, putting up in his garage, the Cox vacuum hose reel, the pressure washer hose reel, all the parts needed to make it happen. And he also has a Karcher cube and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be just like mine. The only difference being he already had a fully finished garage. So there was no studding behind the wall that would support all this stuff. So it's, we're gonna call this a semi custom install. That's where we're gonna lay it all out on a piece of plywood, get it painted up nice, and then we're gonna put the plywood on the wall, screw it to the wall, and everything's gonna be awesome. We did have a plumber come in and put a spigot up on top to feed the pressure washer, and we had an electrician come in and uh, put pr uh, power where we need it so that this is gonna happen. All right, without any further delay, let's get down here and get this thing laid out on the plywood and get it all set up. Yeah. All right, with a quick trip to the big box store and get the plywood cut down to size, we'll be ready to go. All right, so we got the plywood all painted up and ready to go. It's time to start laying out all the good stuff. We got the shelf where we want it, the hose reel right where we want it, mark our holes. The beauty of the plywood method is we can put the equipment anywhere we want, as long as it makes sense for your detailing setup and your garage space. Now we'll start screwing everything down to the plywood. All right, now we got the shelf all bolted down, nice and secured. We got the bolt holes laid out. It's time to drill some holes and get the reels mounted up. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We sure appreciate each and every one of you guys. Now we got the pressure washer reel down, super secured, all square, looking great. Let's get the vacuum reel down. We got our holes laid out. We're gonna drill some holes and get it put in. Here we go, yeah. vacuum hose reel on, the pressure washer reel on, the shelf's in, everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and mount the handles. All right, both the hose reels are on and they're working sweet. Let's go ahead and put the hose on the pressure washer reel. because there's no swivel on the end of this line, we're gonna have to pre-twist it so that we can get it to screw into this uh, hose reel. So let's go ahead and do that now. Just gonna twist it more than enough. It's easier to have more twists than, than not enough. Wanna make sure we can get that all the way in.
All right, so that went together awesome. It looks great. Everything's all set up and ready to go. All we have to do now is take this wood with the parts all over it and mount it on the wall at the job site, hook the water up, hook the power up, put the pressure washer in place, and we're gonna be ready to go, man. I'm looking forward to it. Let's head on over to the job site, yeah. So here's the space we had to work with. It's time to tear all that lawn equipment down and get the pressure washer up. The plumber came by, hooked up a hose bib right where we wanted for our pressure washer. The electrician also came by and he hooked up a dedicated 20 amp circuit for the pressure washer and a switched outlet for the vacuum that's going to go right on top of that storage box. It's going to be awesome, but we do have some drywall work to do. We'll just bust that out real quick and then get back to it. All right, so we got the drywall work done. It looks awesome. Zach did a great job on it. And uh, now we're going to hang the wall unit up and draw some measurements and get things laid out here. Yeah. We'll draw a nice level line so that we can line our plywood up. Measure the hose bib cut out. Then we'll lay out those measurements onto the plywood. And we'll use a hole saw to cut it out. Next we'll get the measurements for the switched outlet for the vacuum. Apply them to the plywood. Mark our cutout. Then we'll drill four holes so that we can get our jigsaw blade in there and really get those corners cut out nice. Let's get it on the wall and see what it looks like. Level it up. We'll start running our drywall screws deep into the studs to make sure that it doesn't move ever again. Now we'll take care of that electrical switch and we'll screw in the hose bib. It's time to dry fit the pressure washer and make sure everything hooks up just right. Now we can screw in the board the rest of the way Get the edges cocked up, and then come back behind with some drywall mud and fill in all those drywall screws. We'll get all the pencil marks cleaned off with some wall cleaner, get it looking all pretty, and there it is, ready to go. We'll move on to painting the front of the carcher. That yellow is nasty. We'll make it gray to match everything else. We might as well hit the rigid portable vac while we're at it. We'll get the rigid portable vac up on top of the toolbox. We'll run the hose down. This install required a 90 degree fitting. So we installed that as well. It's a nice good fit. So we did any last minute touch ups and wow, it looks great. Hardly can even tell the board is on the wall. It fits the garage, awesome. What a nice setup. All in one spot, ready to wash, ready to vacuum. Looking good. The homeowner decided to put a racking system on the wall next to it, as well as underneath the pressure washer. Uh, he's got some plans on hanging some different products and some different things on the wall. It should work out pretty good for him. The pressure washer system looks awesome. Can't believe how good that turned out. Leave some comments down below. What do you think? Did you like it before the racking system or after the racking system? So that's all we got for today. We appreciate you stopping by. And if you like the video, please subscribe, hit that like button. Sure helps us out and we really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.